Hi, my name is Isabel Ramos. I am from Banner, Pennsylvania, right outside of Pittsburgh. My major is Environmental Engineering and Management, the five-year program. I really just like the environment here and the opportunities for undergraduate research was really encouraging. So there's, of course, summer research, which when I talk to my friends at other schools, it's a lot harder to get involved in summer research, which I'm really lucky and grateful that here it's just approach a professor and ask. And a lot of times if they're doing research, they're more than happy and welcome to accept research students. There's four different students, including myself, working in the lab this summer. So we're all doing slightly different projects, but all towards one central project. My research is with Professor Deborah Sills and Professor Carly Gwynn, um, and it's working with the Buffalo Creek Watershed Alliance here in Lewisburg, trying to look at the impaired waterways that are in Union County, and then seeing how impaired they are and why they are impaired. And with that, we're able to say through microbial source tracking, which is what this process is, to see which organisms have fecal matter in the waters. So we're testing bovine, which is cow, human, um, avian, which is like birds, and then we're also doing swine, which is pigs. We're just looking to see which ones are in the water so that we can hopefully in the future the BCWA can work to do better management practices on the waterways to help preserve the water. When we go out and sample, we were trained by um, someone who works in the DEP, Sean, and he came out and showed us how to do proper sampling technique. So we go to the streams. It's like a three-hour event. We have 15 total sites we're sampling this summer. We go to the said stream and we take a field probe with us that measures the conductivity, the pH, and the dissolved oxygen along with the temperature. Um, and then we take three different um, storage containers of varying sizes for the different tests we do when we get back to the lab. When we first get back, we always need to do bacteria, DNA, and then also turbidity on the first days because those seem to change. So we start with diluting and plating on different bacteria plates that we put in an incubator to see what coliforms grow and E. coli. Um, we do the bacteria filtration, which is using filtration, and we filter about a liter of water through the membrane. And then we store those in a freezer until we have time to extract the DNA from it for like further qPCR and PCR analysis. Um, we also do TSS, which is similar to the DNA extraction filtration, but we're just filtering solids and that goes in the oven. And then we weigh that to see how much was left. We do turbidity, which is just using the turbidimeter. Um, and we just see how much stuff's floating in the water. Um, and then we also test nitrate and ammonia using little kits. And then we put them in a machine and it spits out a number. So then we can see how it changes depending on how much rain happened or the temperature and how much it all affects each other.